Welcome Hurricanes fans around the world. College Football Vids here coming at you today with sort of a difficult video. I was actually afraid that this might happen. Uh, I've been celebrating the FSU victory still all day today, been soaking it in, t looking at all the memes and the, the funny gifs and stuff that are online. Uh, but as you have probably heard, Mark Walton is out for the rest of the season. He is having surgery on his right ankle from an injury that he received in the Florida State game. Now, Here's the thing that I want to go over with you guys, because I know a lot of us are bummed and depressed. This is a devastating blow to the Miami Hurricanes. Now, here's the thing, though. This is a devastating blow, but this is not a season-ending blow for the team. Walton played a big part in the offense and kind of carried the load uh, when it came to rushing, but we have other playmakers on offense. Uh, our receivers are playing pretty well overall, and I actually think that Homer is going to be a pretty good back, to be honest with you. Uh, just to give you guys a, a couple of stats, I always like to throw a few numbers out there. Uh, Walton is the leading rusher on the team, of course, with 428 yards. However, keep in mind that he received the bulk of the carries all season. So, of course, he is going to have the most rushing yards. Now, Walton carried for 56 times so far this season for the 428 yards that we mentioned. Uh, Homer has roughly half the amount of carries for 212 yards. So, you can look at it as half the carries, half the yards. So, that's not that bad. That averages out to actually about 8.5 yards per carry for Homer, which I believe is a little bit more of an average uh, yards per carry than Walton. The backup from there, Homer being the second string, will move bump up to number one. And number two will be Gray. Uh, he hasn't carried a lot this season. Uh, however, when he did, he averaged eight and a half yards per carry as well. I think, honestly, uh, Homer is ready to show what he's got. He The guy seems to love contact uh, he's a really good he's got really good vision he's really good at picking out holes uh, and just hitting it and I really think that overall he's really the back even though Walton was injured he's the back that provided the spark in the FSU game in the fourth quarter that we needed with the run game third string coming up behind Gray would probably be Burns I don't believe that he has had any carries this season that I'm aware of. Uh, so I've not heard a lot on him, but I think that Homer and Gray could probably complement each other well. Uh, Homer comes in at 195 pounds. Gray comes in at 235 pounds. The reason I mention that is it could potentially be a Homer being more of a, a, a cutting back, I guess, uh, kind of a, a playmaker. He goes out, you know, kind of on the pitch and, and makes some plays with Gray being more of the the power red zone back uh, that we might need kind of on the goal line or on third and short. But basically what I wanted to say is just the season's not over, guys. I know that it's it's difficult to deal with injuries, but it's football. It's a physical game. Someone's probably going to get injured. It's a shame that it had to be Walton because uh, I was really looking forward to the progress he was going to make this season, and he was going to have a huge impact, uh, I expected, this entire season. However, it's not a season-ending blow. Don't worry. Miami can come out, play Miami football. We won the FSU game with practically almost no rushing yards. Let's just be honest here. So we can carry on through the rest of the season. They really just need to get in there and let Homer get a lot of reps in practice this week and throughout the rest of the season. Gray as well, and really hit Burns with a lot of reps as well to make sure that everyone is ready in case someone needs a breather. But I really think, Hurricanes fans, we're going to be okay. Uh, Walton, I wish you the best of luck, my friend, and just a speedy recovery so you can come back and tear it up next season for Miami, man. Uh, but we're still on our way following the path of greatness this year, and it's going to be a big season. We've got Georgia Tech coming up this Saturday, and keep on uh, keep an eye out for my prediction and preview video that we'll be posting after this one, probably a little bit later 
tonight. And I just want to let you guys know, uh, I do have a P.O. Box now. I'll put it up beside me, uh, the address for it. But it's, it's P.O. Box 6493, and that's in Maryville, Tennessee, 37802. And uh, the, I've actually already had that P.O. Box for other reasons. So if you guys are thinking, man, this guy's just getting a P.O. Box trying to get us to send him free stuff. It's not that. You don't have to send me anything at all. But I did just want to let you know, because uh, if you guys want to send me any cool stuff like drawings or letters, there are some kids that watch these videos. If you guys want to send me something, I'll feature it on a video and give you a shout out. So that would be really cool. And uh, But that's it for this quick little news video. I just wanted to... Uh, kind of give us an open forum in the comment section below so we can talk about the Walton injury and just kind of talk strategy and see what you guys think about Homer and Gray and Burns or anyone else that might come in uh, uh, to play at the running back position. But for now, guys, this has been College Football Vids. We're all, remember, we're all just one big happy college football family, and we all just wish Walton the best and a speedy recovery. And remember, guys, it's always better at the end of the day when you get to rep the U. Peace out, guys.